The Algonquin football team is a very experienced bunch. They have 14 starters returning from last year's team, a team that won seven of their last eight games. Successful experience. It's a good combination. Oh, it helps helps tremendously, you know, having guys, you know, been there in the third quarter and the fourth quarter droughts, you know, like Neshoba last year, we had so many stars and, you know, now it's just time to go. It's pretty fun. Um, so we're able to really get going on our playbook. I mean, we've already installed a lot of it. Um, it's just an advantage of having a lot of seniors that already know the system. So uh, we can move a lot quicker with that. It helps a lot because we know a lot of uh, our offense and what we're going to do this year already um, since we did it last year. So uh, we don't have as much preparation we need to do, uh, like learning preparation, so we can get right into practice, right into hitting, right into doing what we need to do to get better. And uh, it's looking to be a good season. Well, you know, I think the big thing is, uh, you know, we came into this program and, you know, it wasn't too hot of a program. And so we kind of know what it takes to, to win. And I think that's, that's huge. I mean, especially we got six guys who now it's going to be their third year playing varsity. And that's absolutely huge because, you know, senior leadership is everything. You know, you saw it with the show, but last year they were a senior heavy team. They go 13 0 and win the state championship. And again, senior heavy team. And, you know, that's what we're looking to do. You know, we're going to, the upper, underclassmen are going to look to ride for, look to come to us for, uh, you know, leadership. And we got to provide that for them. Barry looks like a young Joe Willie Naaman. Quarterback of this team. Six three year starters on this Algonquin team. Algonquin's going to open up their season with. Neshoba, it's going to be a good one. Worcester Tech finished last season strong. They won three of their last four games. The Eagles only graduated six seniors from that squad, so they have a ton of game experience returning where expectations are high. Uh, a good finish to our, our season last year. We got a lot of experience from some of these kids. Some of these kids as juniors and sophomores got a lot of playing time. We only graduated six seniors, a lot of returners. We're expecting great things out of these kids. Players aren't satisfied with last year's record. They want better results, and they're working hard for it and holding each other to a high standard. Going out 5-5 five and five last year was, wasn't like where we wanted to be, and this year we're looking to have a really good record and minimum losses. Nobody likes going 5-5 five and five and we want to get back to the playoffs, which we didn't make last year, so that's our motivation. And Worcester Tech will open up their season at Gardner this year. St. John's played in the Central Mass Super Bowl last year. Now, they graduated a ton of talent from that squad. So this year's camp is about building team chemistry and yeah, getting good know, reps. Nervous coming into the season, but uh, we're coming together pretty well. All the young kids are stepping up big, and Buck's playing pretty well right now, so we'll see how it goes during the season. Um, we're looking pretty good this season. You know, coming back with a lot of starters on defense and offense, we have some pretty powerful weapons as well. Well, we got to stay determined. We can't slack off. we got to be going 110% every time, every snap, the whole entire practice in games. Camp's going well. I mean, we're getting after it. Uh, we got a lot of young guys stepping up, uh, really just trying to get things rolling. Um, looking, looking for a good season this year. St. John's will open up their season at home, taking on Catholic Memorial. Well, BC had one of the best defenses in the nation last year. One of the leaders on that defense, former Doherty standout Isaac Yadam. Yadam played a large portion of last season injured as well. He's back this year. He is healthy. He's ready to go. His coaches are expecting him to be a leader and a playmaker for the Eagles. Yeah, so far it's going well. I'm happy to be back after my shoulder injury last year. So we just out there competing every day. I'm, well, number one thing I'm just trying to do is just stay healthy the whole entire season. After that, I'm just trying to make more plays on the ball, help our defense make more plays and just win more games. You know, we expect him to have a huge season. And uh, I think he's going to have a huge role for us, to be honest with you, to get us to where we want to go. And uh, we believe in him wholeheartedly. You know, is what I can tell you, we think he's going to have a, a great season because he's got a ton of multiplicity of what he's able to do. I just think he's, you know, an incredibly accountable guy, uh, really, really high character guy. And uh, you know, I think the world of him, he's the type of guy, you know, if you can't coach him, then, then you shouldn't coach, <laughs> you know. So he's, uh, the sky's the limit for him. We have a really, really uh, high opinion of him. We're really, really excited about him. And BC and Isaac Yadam will open up their season in Ireland, taking on Georgia Tech in Ireland. So there we go. Hopefully we'll get you some credentials and get you on Aer Lingus yeah, across awesome. the pond. I'd love you it. You can be our correspondent over in Ireland. Yeah, better go to Dublin, visit the Guinness yeah, Brewery. Maybe? How good would that be? That, that'd be awesome. Not too much time in the brewery. We want a, we want a good report. That's or true. A report yeah. that people can understand. <laughs> the BC, no, I mean, nowhere to go but up. Tough season last year. Oh, season, yeah. Right? Well, and the, you know, the biggest thing is going to be their offense. Their defense was phenomenal last year. Now, their defense coordinator, Don Brown, local guy from Central Mass and Spencer, he's the architect of that defense. He's gone to Michigan right now. 
That's why they're one of the favorites to win the national title. So BC's got a huge hole to fill there. Biggest question is quarterback. They need a quarterback. They need an offense that's going to move the ball. Last year they went three and out far too often, leaving it the onus on that defense. Well, we'll see what happens this season. Kevin Shea, okay. thanks a lot. Follow him on Twitter, at 3 Kevin Shea, <laughs> and our sports department, at Charter TV 3 Sport. That'll do it for us tonight for Worcester News Tonight. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We hope you'll tune in again tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.